Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey everyone, Kenny Tony coming at you today with another quick video. So um, today's video is just gonna be real quick, maybe at the tops five minutes of your time to be able to show you all what I did to get these uh, 250 style recess lights to be put into my license plate light. A lot of people in the comments on another one of my video want to know exactly what I did to be able to get those in there. It wasn't really much um, to do, just a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. Um, they were not a direct fit in there. Um, so I'm just going to really quick flip this camera over, get back here to the back of the truck. And I'm going to just show you all how I did it. So basically, here we are on the back of the truck. Um, as you see, the lights have two different kind of angle shots. The deeper end I put towards the bumper side of the truck and then the, the more shallow end is out this way. Um, they literally just pop in there. Let's see if I can unsnap one on the other side. So the light itself looks like such. Um, yeah, that was that's just basically the light. It's got a clear lens in there. Um, I do have the just I think a standard um, cheap LED bulb from Amazon. Nothing crazy. Let me get it untwisted. Yeah, nothing crazy. Cheap LED in there. Um. So, sorry. So. Mine is not the neatest or anything. I just got my box cutter. You can make it a little bit neater. And I just notched out the area, basically. Cut this hole a little bit bigger. It was a little bit more round. Kept this side more on the flush end down. This side just has a little divot. And if you look at the bracket here, they just snap in, literally. So, get the one side down real good. The other side snaps. That's it. I did the exact same thing to the opposite side of the truck. Like I said, these were nothing crazy. They're not genuine for parts. I got them off of Amazon. Um, I'll post a link to these right here exactly in the description. And um, this angle here, I guess the, the original ones were kind of on the flush end like that. And they just sent up so much glare to the rear view backup camera. And on the 18, it's a little bit different how it uh, sticks out a little bit compared to the one on the 16. And the glare is insane. So as soon as you put it in reverse, you couldn't see anything out of the back. Um, with these, like the way it is, you can see the light lit up in the camera, but the glare is definitely not like it was or not there. And uh, that's it, literally. So best five minutes of your life keep some glare off your truck. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. This is the end.